Hi guys and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a dialogue using Angular Material Dialogue component. This dialogue contains a header, three fields that is name, email and text area. We have two buttons, save and cancel. In addition to it, we have a close icon as well. So without delaying, let's get started. Here I have created a folder block Angular Dialogue. Now I am going to copy this part. I'll open the Node.js command prompt and just type cd and paste the path over there. Next, we'll create our Angular app. So for that, I will give the command ng new angular hyphen dialog. Just type yes. Let's choose CSS. We'll wait until it's done. So this is completed. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and open our app. Next we'll go to terminal. We'll just choose new terminal and over there we'll just give the command ng add at the rate angular slash material so that we can use the angular material in our app. Just give yes. We'll choose Indigo Pink. Yes. Once the installation is completed, we'll just give the command ng serve and run our application. Let's copy this. Now let's go to the browser and check whether our app is running or not. So our app is running totally fine. Next we have to create a component for dialogues. For that we'll give the command nggc dialog body. That is ng generate component dialog body. Now let's start coding. First go to appmodule.ts and you will first import mat button module from angular material button. Then mat icon module from angular material icon. Mat form field module Mat input module Forms module and math dialog module. We'll just add this over here.
Now let's go to app component.html file and here let's remove this unwanted code. In this page, we'll create a button. For that, we'll give mad dialog actions and inside that, we'll create a button. Matte raised button. Color will give primary. And we'll give click is equals to open dialog function. We'll name the button as contact us. So now we have to go to app component.ts file. Let's import our dialog body component here. And next we have to import mad dialog in order to use the angular material dialog. In order to create material dialog instances, we are injecting the mad dialog service via constructor. So let's create a constructor. We'll make it as private. We'll just give mad dialog. After adding that line of code, we'll give the open dialog function and inside that we'll just write this dot mad dialog dot open. Just give the component name. Inside that we'll give the property width. Just give it 350 px. Now let's run the application ng so. It's showing some error. It is failed to compile. Let's check why it is showing this error. Okay, we have missed this comma over here. Now let's run the application again. So now it's working fine. Just click on the button and check whether our dialog is working. Okay. So our material dialog is working fine. We'll just go to that HTML page and create our own form. Give the button tag and over there write mat icon button. Style is equals to float right. And inside that, give the mat icon tag and mention over there close. After that, give mat dialog content. Header tag. And inside header, we'll give h1 and we'll give the text as contact us. Let's check in the browser. Okay, just align it a little bit. For that, we'll give margin 5px. Looks better now. Next, after the header, we'll give p tag. And do we'll use mat form field. And inside that, we'll give the input tag with placeholder name. And we'll give an icon for person. So all this matte input, matte raised button, matte suffix are predefined by angular material and adds CSS to the required element. I'll just copy this and paste over here and change the placeholder name as email. For the icon, I'll give drafts. For the last one, I'll give text area. For the icon, I'll give save. Now, if you click on the button, you can see the fields, name, email, text area. So, we'll add two more buttons to the form, save and cancel. For that, I'll give mad dialog actions. 
and inside that I will create the buttons save and cancel. For the save I have given color primary and for cancel I will give color 1. So we have these two buttons. I want it to align in the right. So I'll give align is equals to end. So now the form looks nice. Next on click of cancel, I want to close the dialog. For that, I'll give the attribute matte dialog close. I will add the same thing for the top cross icon. So when I click on the icon, the dialog will be closed. Let's check in the browser. So now our angular material dialog is working perfectly fine. With this, we have completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any queries in the comment section below.